Hey guys, welcome back and now in this video we are gonna talk about Arrow OS ROM based on Android 9.0 Pi 4 Xiaomi Mi A1. You can install this ROM like any other ROM and the installation process is the same and you don't need trouble for that. Everything should be working out of the box and you don't need to flash any separate fixes. Then first let's go to system settings. About phone, as you can see Android version is 9.0 and Android security patch level is September 5. About the launcher features, if you long press on empty space of the home screen, you can change home settings, add widgets and change wallpapers. About the gestures, you can swipe up on the pill or home button to get the recent menu. Long swipe will get you the app drawer. When you swipe all the open tabs to the right, you can get clear all button. In the slide down under the specific tab to open it and slide up to close it. And when you hit the app icon on open tab, you can enable split screen mode and finally there is a slider to switch between open tabs. There is a notification panel and quick settings. Quick toggles are secular and style of the quick toggles and notification panel is based on device theme. The ROM comes with very minimal apps. You get the Snapdragon camera app which is not so good but you can install Google camera app by enabling camera to API enabler and with that you can take pictures, video image stabilization is there and portrait mode works for both front and rear cameras. FM radio app is there and it works too. This is the settings panel with colored icons and this is the search bar at the top. First we have network and internet tab. Everything about network is great. 2G, 3G, 4G, VLT works. In the dual band Wi-Fi option is there too. This is the Bluetooth tab. Pairing with devices is easy. There is no issue with audio or video playback, speech with calls, loudspeaker or when connected to Bluetooth. Under battery tab, there is a battery saver mode. You can turn it automatically at any percentage of your QoS. Adaptive battery with slimmest battery usage for infrequently used apps. You can enable battery percentage on status bar and below that you can find the battery stats. Next under display tab, you have brightness level, nightlight works, adaptive brightness have no issues, sleep timer, phone size, display size, ambience display which is working and double tap to wake works by default. Under device theme, you can set it to automatic based on wallpaper or you can force it to dark or light and the theming applies to notification and quick settings, volume slider and app drawer only. Under security and location, you can find fingerprint option, setting up is easy and unlocks in about a second. You can also add face unlock via smart lock, but you have to enable dismiss lock screen once the system detect your face. You can find this under liquid launch settings. This is the digital well-being and here it's by default, so you don't have to manually install an APK. And with wind down here, you can enable grayscale which does entire screen to gray. Next to system gestures, you have jump to camera and swipe up on home button. So these are the basic features of the ROM which are working fine. Now let's talk about some customization of the ROM which you guys can find under liquid launch settings. If you go to buttons, here you can disable the hardware buttons and set different actions on the buttons. Same is the case with navigation bar. You can customize this menu as like hardware buttons and set different actions. You can also tweak the quick setting panel and set brightness slider at the bottom. About the status bar customization, you can do that. Here you can customize the clock size and position along with date and other stuff. And about the benchmarks, Geekbench score for single CPU core is 880 and multi-core score is 4389 and Antutu version 7 score is 75997. So that's pretty much for this video, I hope you guys liked it and hit the like button if you find this video helpful and if you guys have any queries or questions, do let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon in my next video.